This is Zane, Pickle Palace Arcade and Bar, Round Rock, Texas. Uh, this, I think, is the first time we're showing the actual building on YouTube, so this is kind of a world premiere. Before we get inside, I do want to point out we have a cool little sign here, Pixel Palace Arcade and Bar, coming soon, a cool little video game fonts. Uh, this actual sign is being made as we speak. It is much, much larger than this, basically the entire facade of this side and the other side. So, that being said, let's get inside, outside of this hot heat. See, I can't even talk correctly. All right, let's go inside. Here we go. So, again, this I think is the first time on YouTube, at least, that we're showing the actual arcade itself, or the building, I should say. Prior to that, has been nothing but arcade halls and just overview of arcade cabinets themselves. But here it is, the beautiful, beautiful building we have. Uh, we are at 4,860 square feet of arcade fun and drinking. Uh, we are uh, three of five spaces. We're taking a majority of this lot. Um, and it has been an uphill battle to say the least. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but I will tell you, we've been working hard on this. Uh, well, me personally, six years. This building, almost a year now, uh, going through the whole process of city stuff, architects, suppliers, contracts, all that good, good stuff. But we are here now, actually finally making some progress. Finally, finally, finally. Um, so when we got this space, obviously they already slabbed it and put the foundation, which is normal, but we had a lot of construction to do. And that's kind of been the majority of the delays, if you will, or the progress slash delays. I don't know how you want to call it. Take a long time. Um, so, yeah, so on top of actually having to rip out all this concrete, I mean, it goes on as far as the eye can see, basically, there's concrete ripped out, trenches galore. It is quite dirty in here, apologize. Uh, there's trenches everywhere, right? Um, a lot of cutting, a lot of removing, a lot of additional cutting. I'll get to that here shortly. Uh, primarily because we have a lot of custom, I guess, plumbing and electrical for an arcade and bar restaurant, right? So, all this had to be done. In addition to just cutting and removing concrete, they actually had to go down a couple of feet in the dirt as well because of code requirements. So that was not fun. And it is the middle of summer here in Texas and it's been brutally hot and there's no AC in here. So you can just imagine how miserable it is here, digging trenches in the dirt, the gravel, and the concrete. So, but got it done. We got all the plumbing laid out. Um, before we get to that, let's kind of just give you a quick run over here. Run, run, run. Mimicking running, mimicking running. All right, so for those who have not seen any kind of plans or anything else really kind of new to this channel or new to the arcade, like I said, 4,800 square feet. Uh, in the back corner is gonna be a small office, men's bathroom. Along that entire back wall is gonna be the kitchen women's bath in the corner, and then a small, call 80s lounge slash 80s uh, bedroom. Uh, that wall is gonna be nothing but pinball machines, and all of these trenches right here are for all the electrical, for all the actual arcade cabinets. All that, you soup around here. That wall will be nothing but, we're calling it kind of sports alley, sports types games like Golden Tee, Shoes, uh, Bowling, um, I can't think of anything else. Sports types games. And ski ball. We have four ski ball lanes as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then football over there. All of our games, with the exception of Guitar Hero, are 2000 and older. So we're trying around 1977 to 2000. We're trying to keep it as retro as possible, so nothing modern, if you will. Guitar Hero is a massive fan favorite, so we figured we had to have it, and it's a good fit for the arcade. But again, 2000 and older. Um, majority of those games are like mid 80s, mid 90s, uh, when arcades and fortunes started kind of taking a downhill dive, at least in the US. Um, all quarters, all quarters. All machines will be one single token slash one quarter. Um, none of this redemption bullshit, and none of this card swipes, nothing. No, no games a dollar. The exception I say, I say that might be pinball, which may or may not be 50 or 75 cents just because of the cost of pinball. Purchasing and repair is costly. 
but we'll see. We'll kind of play with that pricing as we kind of go through things. Again, here's a spot, back to here. All right, so um, delays, delays, delays. Primarily, the biggest delay was um, this draft system. So walking coolers right here, draft system starts there. We're trying to keep the, the actual beer super cold. So underground, 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 all the way up here, there. That requires special tubing and special uh, angles and connections and fittings that normally plumbers don't deal with. Um, so that was fun, to say the least. Thankfully, we got that figured out and we got the approval by the draft guy that we're good to go. Draft will be here. Backing up, one thing I forgot to mention. See these posts right there, 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 there. The bar itself is gonna fit right in there. Uh, it's a 30 person seat bar, pretty massive. 20 taps, full bar. Um, there's some other small delays. I'm not gonna go into detail because we, we got those fixed. I'm not going to uh, sit on those too long, but we got those fixed. Uh, next steps are hopefully um, one of a trillion inspections gonna happen today or tomorrow. Uh, the first one is around the rebar and uh, the vapor, so that base, that plastic, get that approved. I don't foresee any issues. The city of Round Rock has been pretty good about approving us so far uh, in this process. Um, once that's done, we'll have our concrete guys come in here and start laying all the concrete so we get some nice smooth floors. And then next steps, which is I think is my most exciting step, is framing, interior framing. Uh, obviously this wall here, which is called demising wall, was super important for us, a big win for us because without that wall, contractors would not start work because the building itself was not secure. Um, and so getting that wall up and able to get locks and keys and everything for this side was super super good for us um, so concrete framing next hopefully then we'll really start filling out this space with all the actual walls itself and we'll kind of get an idea what the feel is um, we're counting about 47 ish machines give or take uh, hope my math has stayed strong since we've started making some adjustments if we can still fit all 47 machines in here it does look kind of small as it is and it's only going to look more smaller as we kind of fill out the space but I'm confident we're gonna be able to fit all the machines in here and still have lots of room to wiggle uh, for patrons and may hopefully additional games. So yeah, um, this is, like I said, the first update I've had in about three months because we've been working a lot of back-end channels trying to get shit straightened out with the city, with the state and all that good stuff. Uh, it's not an easy process to open up a bar, restaurant and arcade, all those fun things combined. Um, I'm going to try to stay consistent at least once a month, if not more, with updates. I think we're going to ramp up pretty quickly now that we have all this stuff done. Maybe updates will come quicker, but at least once a month to all my various um, social media channels, YouTube, TikTok, um, all that good stuff. So, that it is. It is, what date are we? We are September 28th, so almost October. Um, so hopefully we'll have concrete in by October 1st and then we can rock and roll from there. All right. So before I leave, uh, again, just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this YouTube, unfortunately, is kind of an afterthought for everything else. Um, TikTok, Instagram, Discord, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm trying to build it up. So if you can, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna put a lot of more content on YouTube and a lot of fun stuff as well. Um, I would suggest of any of the platforms we got, Discord is probably the best one because all my updates for the arcade go there first. And I get a lot of feedback from all the, all the guys on the server as well. Um, I ask a lot of questions and kind of get opinions and those opinions and feedback drive a lot of the process here. So if you wanna put a little, uh, a little bit of your touch in the arcade potentially. Um, join the discard and let me know. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions before that, you can obviously ask me here on YouTube and uh, everywhere else. So, that being said, uh, it's hot as balls in here. Again, it's September in Texas and everyone knows what that means. This is late summer, it's still hot, and um, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Until next time.